My name is Blanca Rangel and I'm going to help you solve problem 9.18 from night. So let's start working on this problem. We have two ropes are seen in the figures below are lowering at 200, 220, 255 kilogram piano. That's the mass of the piano. Mm -hmm. Five meters, so five meters from a second story window to the ground. Okay. Here's asking us how much work is done by each of the three forces. Okay. So again, work is defined as force times distance. Here, force can be calculated in several in several different ways. But here we're going to see the pictorial form of calculating force. So have work equals to force cosine of the angle times the chin chin r. And these two are vectors. This is also known as the dot product. which can be regarded as F or cosine of the angle. So let's do that. First, gonna draw my axis. In X and Y. So now we're asking what angle is the one that we need to work with? So that angle, um, cosine of the angle, is going to be from the angle of the direction of the motion. So here we have, it's moving from the second story window to the ground. So I'm going to define my motion. My motion is going towards the negative y direction, to the negative y axis, also known as the negative i direction. A negative j direction in terms of i, j, and k. Mm -hmm. So first force we're going to take into situation is my force of gravity. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to find the work of gravity. It's going to be equals to the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the vector of the distance cosine of the angle from the mo from the axis of motion. So where gravity equals 25, 2500 newtons times the magnitude 5. Cosine, and since this is following the same direction, this is going to be cosine zero. So cosine zero is equal to one. So we have work times gravity equals 1.25 times 10 to the four joules. Okay, it's really simple. Now we're going to do, um, let's do, Tension two. So work of tension two. So that's going to be the magnitude of the forces. So we have force is one twenty ninety five, one two ninety five times the magnitude of the movement 
times cosine of the angle. So what's the angle now? So it's going to go from the motion of movement towards whatever the, the force is applied. So alpha one is going to be 90 degrees plus 45 degrees equals 135 degrees. So it's going to be cosine 135 degrees. So we get the cosine of that times 5 times 1295. Okay, and we get a negative value. It work of tension 2 equals negative 4.58 times 10 to the 3 joules. Okay. And last, we're going to do work of tension 1. So it's going to be the magnitude of tension 1, 1830, times the magnitude of tension 2 of the distance, 5, and cosine of the angle. So now we do the same. We're going to grab the angle from here all the way here. So we're going to have 180 plus 30. So that's uh, 210. Okay. So it's going to be cosine 210. Okay. So work of tension 1 equals cosine 210 times 5 times 1830. Okay. So we also get a negative number. We get negative 7.92 times 10 to the 3 joules. Mm -hmm. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching.